Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the golf doctor, and today I'm gonna to talk about why most left-handers slice the golf ball. Stay tuned. So why do most left-handed golfers seem to slice the ball? Well, I've got a theory, uh, particularly in Australia where we play a lot of cricket, and I am a right-handed person, I'm very right-handed, yet when I play cricket, I play cricket left-handed. Now, if you're batting correctly when you play cricket and you're batting left-handed, if you're gonna bat correctly, you're gonna have your right hand in control. So your right hand is the strong one. So when I played cricket, and I didn't play cricket at a very high level, it was mostly schoolboy cricket, but I was really weak hitting it over to the right or the onside. I was pretty strong on the offside, and that's because my right hand was always dominating. So when we equate that to golf, if you're a left-handed golfer, but your dominant hand is your right hand, your right hand is going to basically be pulling that club down. And as soon as I start pulling the club down, you can see that the club face is pointing out to the left, which is open, which is going to impart spin that goes right to left, which is a slice. So when I started playing golf on the tour, I quickly realized that at any given year, I would have to hit at least six shots a year where my ball was up against the tree. So what I used to practice every single week was trying to hit some shots upside down with my club. So at first it was, I thought this was pretty easy, I'm a left-handed cricketer, but it was actually hard because my right hand still wanted to do that. So eventually I got to the point where I could hit it decently. I started hitting some wedges and progressed up. So I'll try and hit my right-handed seven iron. The hardest thing here is not to let my right hand work that way. I actually feel like I'm hitting a backhand at table tennis or tennis, and I'm getting my right hand to do that. That will help square the club up. So we'll see how I go. So there's a shot that just started slightly left and hit it with a little draw. And that's gone up there around about 120 meters. And it wasn't a big swing. I wasn't trying to hit it hard, but I could do that pretty consistently. But most importantly, the ball spun left to right, which was a little draw. So when I started coaching for a living, I also realized that about 30% of my clients were going to be left-handed. So I needed to try and demonstrate left-handed when I became a coach. So I started practicing each week left-handed. So the things that you can do away from the course that's gonna help you if you're in this situation is start brushing your teeth left-handed. If you walk the dog, hold the lead in your left hand as you walk the dog. Start throwing the ball left-handed. Drink cups of tea, coffee, wine, whatever it is, left-handed. Grab a sandwich from the plate, left-handed. It's not really to make your left hand stronger. It's to improve the link between your brain and your left hand. Because if you're a right dominant person, the link between your brain and your right hand is very strong. And the signal between the left and the brain isn't as strong. So if you can do those things away from the golf course, it'll make it a lot easier when you get to the course. And as I said, if you are right dominant, just feel like you're throwing the frisbee right-handed or hitting a backhand. All of those things help. So I'll try and hit one with a left-handed club now. And nice little soft draw. That ball's gone around about 120 meters or so. I don't hit it as far left-handed as I do right-handed because my left hand isn't as strong, but I can still hit it with a good shape. So there's, Something you can do if you're a right dominant person playing left-handed, you can stop slicing the ball by following those few simple drills. So do things left-handed as much as you can, even if you stop at the set of traffic lights in the car. While the lights are red, get your imaginary table tennis bat out and hit some forehands with your left hand, swap over, hit some imaginary backhands, and we put it together and we've got a golf swing. So that should help stop improve your slice. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the golf doctor. And if you like my videos, you can subscribe on YouTube by clicking the round avatar down the bottom there. 
You can also get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed and you can go to thegolfdoctor.com.au and sign up to my electronic newsletter.